Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Let's Play Magical Star Sign with me, Strawberry Eggs. Now you may be wondering, where did those pot folk that were sitting there, went, that were standing there, went off to? Well, you see I had a bizarre little mishap earlier today. I was actually going to record this much earlier and upload you know, those other two videos I uploaded earlier today. Or I should say yesterday because it's midnight over here. But anyway, while recording, the uh, power suddenly went out in my room. I just needed to hit the flip, the switch back on, on the uh, search, what, whatever that thing is, the fuse box, I suppose. Anyway, but because of that, I didn't realize that the save I had was actually after my previous recording point. So I just lost where the, I lost a bit, not too much. I can just talk to all the NPCs again. But as you know, those two pots were looking for clay so they can make more pots. So they uh, ran off. Not much more to say there. Now, let me just go talk to everybody else again. At least I don't have to visit the equipment shop again. I already got bought all sorts of neat new stuff. Soy. Oh, so I guess you must have met those dwarves in Cassia, huh? Fixed your ship, did they? Those guys got banished from Condiment Tower. I mean, their grand folks did. We're giving away our technological secrets. That's the code of the beard for you. You screw up once and you're banished. And so are your kids and your grandkids and so on. Here, those guys in Cassia are pretty solid mechanics too. Once you're banished, you're banished for good. The ancients, oh, no, like it's kind of old thing, and make, making sure that all your family is cursed, not just yourself. That just doesn't seem fair. Oh well. What you doing, a macaroon, huh? You're here to see Grenadin, I'm guessing. Yes, actually, I am. You know what you gotta do if you want to see Grenadin? You gotta go to Capsicum ca Caverns and bring back the treasure you find there. Actually, I think wasn't this house? Yeah, this house is completely empty. If I remembered that properly, I could have saved you some time there. Wait, uh, this guy the... Yeah, Demiglass. Hi, welcome to Macaroon, home to the finest dwarves engineers. What brings you kids to... Wait a minute, weren't there a couple of punk folk hanging around a moment a minute ago? They were talking about needing some clay to make something for a festival, but... Oh, 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 you don't think they took off, do you? I hope they ain't planning on going to the fire dragon's nest for that clay. Ah, uh, ow. And, oh yeah, I said 99 bangberries, all right? Bring them to me and I'll make you something nice. Yeah, he already mentioned that if I bring him 99 bang bears, which I sometimes find randomly in battles or in chests, he'll give me something, what it is. I don't remember I've ever gotten from the last game. I might have ignored that. Anyway, chilly. Goldman Towers up north of the town. That's where you find Grenadin. He's a stubborn old dwarf, but he's the best engineer this solar system's ever seen. In fact, I'd wager if, I, if he wanted to, he could make a ship that could fly right to the heart of the sun. I guess Grenadine's looking for something in Capsicum Cavern, where the fire dragons used to nest way back then. He's freakishly obsessed about it. Won't let anyone in see him until he gets smiths on whatever it is. Something here. Okay, that's the shop, that's the inn. I need to get stomped by. No, no, no! If you want to see Grenadine, you'll have to bring him something to get his mind off the treasure in Capsicum Caverns! Tornal dwarves are heading out to some caverns lately, all open, hoping to see Grenadine's apprentice. To be Grenadine's apprentice. Not one of them's come back, of course. That doesn't sound good. No, I don't want to talk to you again. And this guy will stop us dead in our tracks. Yeah, that's not going to happen. See, I can't let you pass here. A little bit up the road, that's Koneman Tower, home of the finest technologies this galaxy's ever seen. And the thing is, it's kind of off limits. You know how it is, we got a lot of secret gadgets here, there, and we'd like them to stay secret. Oh, that's kind of lame. Fine. Let's be off, folks. Oh, I don't want to talk to him again. Fira, uh, I spent a ton of it getting those. Okay, pause. Okay, let's see here. Is this a T-burn tail? Not as useful. Wakey tail, a lot more useful. Nyoikumamu. Not sure what that is. In Capsicum Cavern, south of here, there's a very scary dragon named Scargot. Two witless pops went tromping off the wind that way towards them like itches. I don't know if they can stomp too much. They don't have feet. How they move about is anybody's guess. On. Last time I didn't have any sugar stars for this. Let's see here. Nope. We 
weird. I usually have a ton of them. Eh. Did you ever see those freakish things? I don't remember. Okay, for the heck of it, I'll stick around for this one battle. Red Riding Hood green face things. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. What can I do? Okay. Let's see here. Tails! And I mean the animal tails, not the video game series or a bunch of books, well, you know, fairy tales type thing. Stories, no stories. Come here. Those pots went inside! I told them not to! I told them they were gonna be scorched and eaten for sure! What in the world would eat ceramic? Or, I suppose, clay, even if it's living ceramic slash clay. Anyway, Capsicum Caverns, and that, I suppose, is the skeleton of a dragon. And looky, new enemies. These things are Brawla Flowers. I forgot the name of this thing. The skeleton creature. You see, they're quick little annoyances. Still like four levels behind everybody else. And I got a sugar star. I'll pause here so I can make up that warp point. Or, you know what? Scratch that. I'll do it on the way out. I don't think I could teleport out of caves anyway. Hey, punk kid! Don't go in there! Hey, come back here! <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Yeah, it's coming! It's coming! Save us all! Save me at least! Coward. And again, I probably would be, wouldn't be much different. He doesn't have magic, I imagine. I wouldn't go in there if I were you! Forget about those foolish pots! If you don't turn back, you'll get cooked to a crisp just like them! They're pots! I'm pretty sure you can't cook pots! Okay, I'll pause here. If you're wondering, that thing is scorched. I guess because they're in a hot place, they'll randomly be burned and won't be able to battle much anyway. Okay, into the cavern we go! Another brawl of flower. Anything new with you? Nope. Okay. Seven of them bang berries already, huh? Right. Hit the stupid thing before you get into a random encounter. Thank you. We got 1,500 Vera! And, uh, ah, stupid bar. How do I stop that from coming up? Actually, wait, this way has a dead end with an item or two. That way appears to be the way forward. Spiky shoes. I bought a bunch of those already. Oh, I forgot to sell all that old stuff. I'll better do it next time, chance I get. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This weird, what looks like a burned section of the map. Dwarf! 
Roll a flower! Lord, nothing else lives in this cave! I'm Garbanzo, bravest dwarf in all of Condiment Tower! Yeah, everyone says I've got some mustard. And I'm warning you, even two different pots, even though two different pots waltzed through, right through here like it weren't nothing, you better turn back if you know what's good for you. Yeah, I don't have the luxury, I'm afraid. I need to save those pots, I imagine, and find out what this guy wants. What the heck is that? Potil? I will destroy you all. <laughs> is that it? Is that what the dwarf was so afraid of? Seems a lot bigger than its sprite, doesn't it? Shadow die. Uh-oh. Never good for me. My character, I mean. And of course, it's being right for me. Wait, is she poisoned? Go a little bit stronger, because I don't I'm not saved or anything. You know this is a regular boss battle music. She's cursed. I'm sure what that does. Let's see here, I have a decursy tail, don't I? Yes, I do. Yikes. Now you're dark, so that means the shit hurts.
Whoa, did I just do that on screen? Uh, sorry, folks. Sometimes I forget to do things like pause when I do that. <sighs> I'm so stupid. Oh, yeah, if you caught those, those are the, some of the podcasts I listen to. Ha 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 ha. From the podcast I'm on, occasionally. Blood money. Oh, wait, that's a. Yeah. save here a bit. Okay, let's be on our merry way. You told me that wasn't the creature. Ah. Again, yeah, doesn't look like a ladder. It looks more like a like one of those plank boards, but um, hard, horizontal, vertical instead of horizontal. Well, here's a new little creature. Bunch of them, and they're all scorched. Those are egg keepers. something or other. Burr, no, I'm not worried. <coughs> not about the enigma. Burr. What are you trying to tell me? There's something even worse in there. Yep, I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Poor guy is terrified out of his mind. Burr. Let me save here, just in case. 
Okay, let's continue onward, hmm? Shall go no further. Master Kale has ordered your death. Dejor, really? It's coming! Belgasa? Deserat? Let's do this quickly! Um. Can you? It's coming! Ah, uh, don't run away! So hot! It's coming after us! It's after us! It's coming! And yes, even those freakish things are scared. What? What happened? Heat limits reached. Surface temperature is 1,000 degrees. 1,200 degrees. Rapidly approaching. Danger! Danger! Touching it means instant death! Instant death! Instant, I say! Uh-oh. Time for us to run. Whoa! It bet you they just vaporize those monsters. That's not cool. Let's jet! Ah! So was it instant game over or what? I guess I shouldn't find out, huh? Shouldn't stick around to find out, I mean. Guess those guys can't get through. They collapsed the tunnel? No, I don't think so. Look, they're trapped here too. <laughs> they're just gonna run right back here. Or the poor thing got vaporized. Whoa. Hey, how'd you do that? Little okay. guy. Here it comes! you rolling from? Roll? Well, I was just in here digging for play with my friend when the wall collapsed and... Hey, he's alright! Look, there's a hole in the wall! Lucky us! Let's get out of here! Yes, let's get... Hall tail, everybody! I smell clay! You don't have a nose! Really good clay! Uh, we can get back here. Whoa. Okay, do I have time for this? Really? Uh, pause recording. All right. Whoa. Man, I think I just took a big stupid loop. Back to where I was before. <laughs> Different? I almost forgot about those weird things. They're like moving coffins or something.
go through that thing there, but watch out! Ugh, do I have time for this? No. Okay, whoa! That thing is really following me. Or trying to, anyway. Ugh. Whoa. Still trying to avoid that thing like the plague! Well, there's a chest in here, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. Good, oy. Sorry, just trying to avoid dying at the hands of that thing. Not sure where I'm going. Whoa. Thank you, random encounter. Whoa, run away, run away. No, this is not the right path. I okay, this is the path we came from, right? Let's go up here, right? Tails. And a chest. Probably not the right way to go, but it's a way to go. Back there. Ugh. Okay, I thought I was through here already, but I wasn't. Bang berries, okay. Whoa! <sighs> Yikes! Okay, this looks like a good way. Huh? What's this? Feel a lot of fire energy nearby. What a gentle light. I detect nothing dangerous about it. I wonder if that scary thing can't come in here. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here. I think it went on long enough. Thanks for watching, and I'll hope put up the next one as soon as possible, if not right tonight.